Hello my friends, welcome to a new episode of your channel, Board and Fire. Today's episode is about a match for the greatest chess legend through the ages, the immortal hero Robert James Fisher, and distinguished by that match is that he was at the age of 15 in the US Open Chess Championship, where we previously presented him with an analysis of the match of the century against Donald Byrne at the age of 14 in the US championship and we told you at the time that despite his remarkable brilliance in the championship he did not win it but he won the following three championships and this was the first championship he won in general I will leave you the link to the match of the century game in the description of the video for those who want to enjoy one of the most beautiful chess matches in history in general to our match this match was in the ninth round of the US championship 1957-58 Fisher played the game with white pieces and his opponent Edmar J. Mednes played with black pieces Fisher started the match with e4 Mednes d6 response hurt defense d4 knight f6 knight c3 g6 bishop g5 and with this move he chose the young teenager burn variation an appropriate offensive variation of the eager Fisher to prove himself. Bishop g7. Queen d2, prepares for a long cast, and attacks the bishop of the black if he casts. h6. Bishop f4. c6 this move is intended to prevent the knight's attack, prepare to pawns storm on the long cast, and also can attack the middle at any time. Long castling. Here the black could carry out his plan and start the pawn storm, but he played a move that weakened his position after that which is queen a5. King b1 is a security move from Fisher, as the king deflects any threat of check in an open diagonal, and increases the pawn's protection, so the knight can participate in the attack. g5 bishop g3. Knight h5. Although the search engine suggests the move knight e2, to defend the bishop, Fisher plays bishop c4 b5. Fisher here could play knight captures pawn, of course the black can't capture the knight directly or else he loses his queen, so the best move here is queen captures queen. Rook captures queen. Even here he will not be able to capture the knight, otherwise he will lose the rook with the move, bishop d5. So the best move here is d5 bishop b3. Once again he can't capture the knight otherwise he will lose the rook. And the best move here is knight a6, to prevent the 4. The match is completed with the moves that you see, with a neutral position. But here Fisher played bishop b3 knight d7. f4 knight captures bishop. Pawn captures knight. g4. e5. d5. f5 knight b6, the threat is now knight c4 as it threatens to capture a pawn for free. Queen f4 to escape the expected knight threat, protect the pawn and the threat of that pawn. Black here was supposed to play h4, to protect the pawn, but here he played e6. Fisher seizes the opportunity and plays queen captures pawn, winning a pawn. Bishop f8. Pawn captures pawn. Bishop captures pawn. Queen f3. Long castling knight h3 is getting ready to play knight f4 but if the black plays bishop captures knight, he will fix the fisher's pawns. Rook g8 to exploit the open file. Queen f2 knight c4. Bishop captures knight. B captures bishop. Now this bishop became useless because of his pawns lumped on the white squares. But this open file may be dangerous to him. So fisher played a seemingly strange move which is king a1. Rook d7 is preparing to occupy the open file. Knight b1 rook b7. Now Fisher played an excellent move that aborted all the offensive attempts of the black, which is c3. Now Queen Fisher is defending that pawn and the c-pawn has become a barrier to any possible development of the black pawns. Rook b6 rook d2. King d7 knight f4. Bishop b7 rook captures pawn. Rook f8. Queen f3. Rook a6 threat now checkmate. Fisher was ready to defend a3 rook b8. Here, Fisher's genius appears in the following moves that helped him to dominate the match, as Fisher played here knight captures bishop. Pawn captures knight. Here Fisher hits his first stroke and makes a superb sacrifice of the move rook captures pawn. 
If the black accepted the sacrifice of the move, king captures rook. Fisher hits hard with the moves queen g4 check. King f7. e6 check. If the black replied king e8. White wins by the moves queen g8 check. Bishop f8. Queen f7 check. King d8. Queen d7 checkmate. As for here, if responded king f8. Fisher wins by the following moves. Rook f2 check. Bishop f6 rook captures bishop check. King e8. Queen g8 check. King e7. Queen g7 check. It doesn't matter if the black response is king d6 or king d8. In both cases he loses by the move queen d7 checkmate. That is why the black did not accept the sacrifice directly, but made a counter sacrifice first. Bishop captures pawn knight captures bishop. King captures rook. Queen g4 check. If the black respond here king f7, Fisher wins by four moves as follows, rook f2 check king e8. Queen g8 check. King d7. Rook f7 check. King e6. Queen g6 checkmate. As for the match, the black here completed king e7. Fisher continues his attack with the move rook f2. Imagine my friends that the search engine here suggests the sacrifice of a queen as you can see, but of course the black is completed here rook e8. Fisher wins with the following attack, queen g5 check. If king e6 Fisher ends the match with the move queen g7, and no defense of the move rook f6 checkmate. So the black completed here king d7. Rook f7 check. King c8. Queen f5 check. King b8. And now the fatal blow from Fisher, queen d7 and here is the ladder of the black because now there are two threats of checkmates queen b7 and queen captures rook, and there is no defense for them. And now I present to you the ranking of that tournament, where Fisher took first place, and his opponent came in eighth place, as you can see. At the end of the episode, I thank you for your continuous support for me, and I hope that I will meet your expectations, and I hope that you will not deprive us of that support by pressing the like button, and for those who have not subscribed to the channel, please honor us by subscribing to it, and wait for the new one that we promise.